All right, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, I had a few things to say. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'll just throw them in real quick. It's, it's, it's sure. not going to take long. Uh, this is on the question, the, the nature of what questions to ask yourself. Uh, generally speaking, you want to focus on uh, six questions. Who, what, where, why, how, and when. But uh, for, for now, I'm just going to focus on the what, the who, and the how. Uh, I'm sorry, the why, the what, the who, and how. So the why is is your motivation, right? So one of these questions you want to ask yourself in order to jumpstart your life is like, why are you doing what you're doing, right? Whether it's the job that you're doing or the people that you're talking to or the things that you watch, like why are, are you doing these things? Because if you can figure out why you're motivated to do these things, you're going to either figure out that you want to do more of this thing or less of this thing or none of it at all, which is going to free up uh it's going to free up your work. It's going to free up your day. It's going to make you more efficient. It's going to cut the fat off uh, that, that you don't need. So understanding your why, your motivation is very important. Maybe you're very motivated to, uh, uh, to uh, help your parents, right? To help your mother and your father. Uh, you want them to be able to retire or something like that. That's a, that's a great motivation. And the more you get in tune with that, the more you can figure out um, uh, how you're moving forward. The what. When you're focusing on the what, that is your desire, Right, I'm pulling these uh, these principles, these questions out of my my workshop called the Six Guiding Essentials. Tom, you know about this, the Six Guiding Essentials. I call it the Shepherd, in order to help other people as well as helping yourself. The what is your becoming? Right, you might be working, Tom. People work on their products, their service, and sometimes they feel like they feel a disconnection between what they're creating and themselves. But the truth is, what you're creating should be. If you want to provide true value, an extension of who you are, That's right. because if it's an extension of who you are, then the care and attention that you're going to be putting into it is going to be significant. It's going to be uh, it's going to be sharp. It's going to be laser like. And also, you're going to be able to figure out iterations and variations on this that are unique to you. And when you talk about being creative in the future, part of what you're going to need, why you're going to need creativity is that we're going to need um, something unique and original from you. Right? If a computer can do it, if a machine can do it, if somebody else can do it, then why you? Well, why you is because you're going to be providing your unique perspective on this. So when you're trying to figure out how to add value to your product or service, how to have val add value to your offering, I find that the best way to do that is to figure out, well, who are you and why does this matter to you? A lot of times, uh, I mean, wrong, right or wrong, we tend to try to create a product so that the masses will like it. But more and more, I'm finding examples that when you create something that masses like it, be damned, it's that it's solving a problem for you, that you actually like it, then more often than not, it becomes something that can be very useful to the, to the public at large because other people are experiencing the problem that you're experiencing and you're providing this unique solution. So understanding what you want to become. Look, you might be, be achieving success in your business or service, but you don't want to spend your time doing that. Like, this is not at all what you want to do. And it, it might pay the bills. It might do this. It might do that. It might get you status. But it might not be what you want to become. You might not want to be this person. And so uh, it's important for you to understand what you value, not only to determine what you're creating and how to make that unique and original, but to determine whether or not this is even worth your time, if this is something worthwhile in your life. Uh the, the who is yourself and just know that whenever you're solving problems, you just want to orient that towards yourself. You want to ask yourself, like, uh, um, uh, 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 what can I do? What can I do? Not it's, it's fine to ask what other people can do, but the power comes in understanding what you can do. And then the how is the habit. Habit, 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 habit is the key to creation, which is why we, we're doing Jumpstart, right, Tom? We want to create a pattern of thought for people to start thinking through ideas, to be exposed to different things. And I know, we know. If you're not like us, like Tom, we're hunters, right? We're out there and we're always getting information. We're totally unsatisfied. I don't think a day goes by where we don't learn something new or take action on something that matters to us. But other people don't have time to do that. They, their, their life is set up in a different way. They, they didn't learn those habits growing up. Well, that's what Jumpstart is here for, right? Jumpstart can help you to think. You don't have to go perusing the world. We're perusing the world and bringing it to, uh, to you. We're exposing you to ideas and concepts that you might not be thinking of. And that is the how, habit. Habit is what creates. 
Habit is what determines what is. Everything that you are today is an amalgamation, uh, an aggregate of all the habits that you've accumulated in your past. And your future is going to be in an aggregate of the habits that you that you move forward with. So what kind of habits should you should you do? Well, you know, learning, becoming more aware, uh, caring about what you're doing, finding your value, figuring out who you are. Those are important questions. And if you don't do that, you're, all, you're going to be walking around in the forest without a compass. You're going to be sort of lost, not knowing what to do. You need guiding principles. You need a way to orient yourself. Habit is the way that you practice that. Habit is the way you make that, uh, you ferment that in your life. And Jumpstart can be the habit for you. Anyway, that's the, what I wanted to say. Tom is way more long-winded than I am. Way more. <laughs> well, just to say there, the, the reason that you uh, people needed things to be mass-produced before, because that was the only way to, to stay uh, viable, right? And, uh, you know, uh, it's sort of like, how many TV shows do you hear now that, no one else knows about or a YouTube channel that you watch that nobody else has heard about. It doesn't need to be have millions of viewers or, or, or followers. It's fine if it just had, has a thousand uh, that, that appeals to, um, to, you know, that appeals greatly to those thousand people. And then the other thing is for the, uh, when, you're, when you're consuming content like what we're doing here, when you're, uh, when you're exposing yourself to new videos and new ideas and new podcasts, new books, that's the same thing as using technology. That's what I'm talking about before as well. I'm not saying you have to go talk to an AI for six hours like I did. Just watching this is using technology to, to access information and access a, way, a new way of thinking that you wouldn't have access if you weren't using technology to do it. Don't take it for granted, your, your, your phone or your iPad or your computer or whatever you're, you're doing right now. This is using technology. We're just saying do it more and do it deliberately. If you want to uh, take part in what we're doing, please go over to youtube.com slash happy for change and hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when we go live. Right now we're going live to the happy for change audience on Facebook, facebook.com slash happy for change, but that won't be the case forever. So you'll get access to the live shows on YouTube. Um, eventually the live shows will not be available after they're done. You'll only, everybody will get them for free live, but you'll have to be a patron on patreon.com slash happy for change in order to get the recorded content. Uh, so uh, you can get uh, for $10 a month, you can get the audio content and for uh, $25 a month, you get the video as well. So you can go back, rewind, look at things again. But on top of all that, on uh, top of the other things that you'll get, you'll also get access to the Telegram audio and video chat, uh, chat group and audio group. So that's really fun. We're going to be, you're going to have us in your pocket. You're going to be able to ask any question. Okay. You're building a website. You're starting a company. You're trying to stay motivated. Uh, you can't get out of bed in the morning, uh, whatever. We're going to be right there. You definitely want to participate in that. Jumpstart Live is on Telegram.